Good morning, students. This is a tutorial video for Adventure on Bainbridge Island, 17 through 37. I'm going to start with the first violins. Please have your pencil ready because we're going to add some fingering. So I'm going to work you through this here. So 17 um, is uh, where it says contabulate, and there's a mistake on your music. The first 17 it should be measure 9. The second 17 is on line 4. So just make sure you have that fixed in your music. Okay, I'm going to start there. It says legato. Open E is fine. Fourth finger there. Beat three and four, measure 20, going on. Same thing. Sorry. Four. Fourth finger there on beat three of 22. Fourth finger on beat three of 23. Two. Then I'm going to go ahead and break up this bow in here. A bow in the whole note. Okay, this is measure 26. Fourth finger, forte, then here the fingering for measure 30, 4, 2, open, 1. So that measure is, we'll play it for you again, 31. That's measure 31. Fingering there is tricky for 32. 4, 3, 1, 1, 3. Then 35. I'm here at the frog. Then I continue on there. Violin 2. I'm starting in measure 17. Make sure you have your pencil ready. And you can fast forward to each section uh, depending on what your what instrument you play. So 17, one, both notes, three, four, one, Starting at measure 26. So, four open. Measure 33, fourth finger. Then it goes into your legato section. Okay. That's your section. 17. Viola. Measure 17. Let me get my viola here. 17, it says legato. So you want to play this really smooth, but you want to bring out that dotted eighth, dotted quarter eighth rhythm. So 17, one, C sharp, right? Oops, sorry. Sorry, wrong part. 17, A, one, two, three. Very smooth, white three. Open. 
So make sure you have the right bowing there. It's just like the beginning. Down, 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 up, up. Slur. So I hook in that slur in that G. So then I end a down bow in 26. Okay, now the trick in 26 and through this is rhythm. You want to make sure your rhythm is really accurate. So one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three. Tricky section is going to take you a little time to work on that. Cellos. Let me get the cello here. All right. So just going through, I'm not going to be able to play all of yours, but I'm going to give you some uh, very important fingering is going to make this playable because you are in D major and you're going to need to make sure you have some extensions ready. So go ahead and write measure 25, beat 2 you're going to play with a second finger because a B natural makes more sense for that so that you can be ready for the extension on the C string. So you have B with the second finger, extend back for A, extend two for B, and then you're ready for the F sharp E D on the C string. Okay. So your Part sounds 17. So no metronome, right? We're just trying to get the pitch, trying to get this music together. We're going to retest this section a couple times. This is going to be a process, but at least need to get you started on it. So lane three. So I count one, two, and three, four. Both strings. Two. Now you got to get this interval to sound good. measure is uh, marcato, short, at the tip, up bow, extension, okay, so now I'm going to start at 26, so I have one, two, three, and four, and so the rhythm there is very important, start at 26 again, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, Extension. Circle set. Measure thirty. F sharp. Right there. This is measure thirty-two. Up, and then I short staccato, and then I'm going to go up again. So 32 is one, two, three, four. Then I go up again and measure 34. So here's 33. One, two, three, four. Mark up here. Up. Two. Then you're gonna go stop and up again, just like the beginning. Two, three, stay at the tip. Three. Actually, it doesn't work out that way. Actually, let's do this. 35, you're going to play circle, set, lift. 36 is a down bow. That way, 37 is an up bow, like it's marked. All right, bass. Oops. All right.
dice. All right, so you're starting at 17. Your trick is rhythm. So you want to make sure your rhythm is super accurate on the um, on the dotted quarters and further on down when you're going on the end of beats. Okay, so here's 17. This is how you're bowing, so make sure you have your pencil ready. 17, you're going to write a lift after the dotted half note. So it's going to be one, two, make sure you can see me here. One, two, three, four, lift, up again, up, then your G, one, two, three, four, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, then your F sharp on 21. G, 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 A. Now it says uh, option pits, but that's later on. Here you're going to be uh, at the frog. Two, three, accent one, and three, and four. Shifting. So that 25, you shift up, shift down to B, right, all staccato, even though they're not all marked staccato, make sure they're all played staccato. 26, this is where the rhythm is important, 26, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1, 2, and 3. Circle set. This is where you circle set. We're at 30, right? So F sharp. One and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Okay, so just make sure you get that rhythm correct. One, two and three, four. One and two, three, four. Then legato, right? And it says opt pits. Just do arco. So that's your instructional video 17 through 37. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I know it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of music, but um, if you spend a little time, we got to keep up our chops. Let's start putting all of this together, starting at the beginning, and we're just going to keep adding uh, a few measures at a time. Okay. Uh, good luck with this assignment, kids, and we'll talk to you soon.